Today, we're gonna to be testing one star grocery stores. Are the bad reviews true? By the end of each grocery store, we're gonna give you our honest opinion. Let's go figure this out. This particular grocery store has a, a I don't understand a word you just said. This grocery store has an official rating of 2.1 stars, and we have a very important mission. There's a particular employee we heard about that works here that's causing a bunch of mischief. <laughs> this review is by Thomas. If you want horrible customer service and absolutely rude staff, look nowhere else than this Walmart. I was shopping and needed a question answered, so I asked an associate, Madison, I believe, and she immediately gave me an absolutely horrid facial expression and said, I really just don't want to deal with you right now, maybe in a minute. I've, <laughs> I've never heard anything like this from a customer service agent, and it keeps going, but that's all you need. So mission number one, find Madison. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know if Madison is working today? Oh, I don't even know who Madison is. Oh, okay. I don't know if she's moving around to different departments. Uh, so I okay, maybe I'll just look. Yeah, call her. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Are your name Madison? My name is not Madison. Oh, okay. Do you know if she's working? Or? I have no idea. No? I don't even know who that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to find her. Sorry. That's all right. It is impossible to find Madison. There's been a lot of YouTubers reviewing one-star items, one-star places. Even Ryan Trahan, he likes to leave a five-star review at a place that got one-star ratings, which is great. But, but that's, that's not, not what we're, we're doing, doing today. today. If we receive one-star service, we will leave a one-star review. I'm calling Walmart. It's taking too long walking around the store asking for Madison. <laughs> I don't think the employees know their coworkers very well. Hey, could you forward me to uh, whatever department Madison is in right now? Okay, just stay out there. I talked to you on the aisle. I cannot tell you. You can't. You just talked to her. Hold on, let me see if I can find Madison. <laughs> you just talked to her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you that. What? Okay, I'll put you on hold. All right, thanks. What are the odds of that? The lady Isn't she the one that said to call? No, I said I'll call. Oh, I thought you she said, said to she call. recommended to call. Oh, wait, she did say call her. So you called her, she answered. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, answered. she still doesn't know. How did she, she said, answer? I already told you. How is she you. the operator? <laughs> but if she's the one that told you to call, she knew she was going to. No okay. Alright. Well, there apparently is no Madison working, at least today, or here at this Walmart, so we're going to give a proper review of this grocery store and leave an honest opinion. We also found another review that is very concerning about the food here. The pre-made fried chicken from the deli. Worst flipping fried chicken I've ever had in my life. My flatmate also bought some kind of pre-made chicken from the deli. Maybe it was sesame chicken or something, but I had to try it, so I took a piece, and sure enough, it was the same terrible chicken. The feeling of starving to death is more enjoyable than eating this chicken. Okay. Where we're going? To the deli. That's right. Aha. Aha. I guess we've got uh, fried chicken back here. Yes. Is that chicken? Hey, Rhonda, do you know if the fried chicken is dry? My friend told me that the chicken was dry, and I'm like, there's no way. The fried fried chicken? Yeah. I want to buy it. You wouldn't buy it? I want to give Walmart, a, this specific Walmart, a five star because of Rhonda's honesty. Rhonda was five star. The fried chicken, still won. Should we just ask an employee a very obvious question to see how their customer service is? Yep, got it. All right, obvious question check. Excuse me, do you guys sell tomatoes? Where are they going? Oh, right over there. Yes, yeah. perfect. Thank you. These definitely are tomatoes. <laughs> I guess. What did you ask for? Do you sell tomatoes? What, what was she using? <laughs> That's why I'm confused, but I, I mean, these are tomatoes, so. But wasn't she dumping tomatoes? <laughs> That's why I thought it was funny. I thought she would be boy right here, but she looks up, she's like, uh, it's got to be over here. <laughs> There's no way. She's literally <laughs> stocking tomatoes. <laughs> You find the trash. Those can. are tomatoes, right, guys? <laughs> Justin is checking out the bathroom. We'll get a status on that. This grocery store has left me a bit confused. 
We've gotten what we wanted, but in a roundabout way. Of the Queen's American Hour we're at the next grocery store, and this has an official rating of 2.3 stars, so not very good. A brief overscan of the produce area, and everything seems to be well stocked and looks nice. Look at the stack of cucumbers. Exactly. This one star review says, I stopped in to get some groceries and some coffee, and while I was there, I had a problem with an employee, Vicky, the store director, was so incredibly rude to me. She treated me, the customer, like I was one of her employees, trying to shush me, and then she insulted me and made fun of my physical disability. Oh boy, Vicky's in trouble. At the end of the review, because it was a long one, they made mention of Vicky's hair. It was from the 70s. <laughs> yeah, specifically says, hello, the 70s called, they want their hair cut back. She fired an insult back to Vicky. Vicky should be easy to spot, according to the review. Yeah, let's look around. <laughs> oh, completely different vibe than Walmart. We've been walking around. So far, I haven't seen one single employee. No, no employees in any aisles, just customers. Versus Walmart, they have a horde of employees hanging around talking about Forza, trying to recruit other team members to play with them. Now, if I was Vicky, where would I be? Probably in the back. Look at this, barely any eggs. They're completely sold out. Egg check, random box. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, oh what the nuts? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my, oh. <laughs> Seriously, these are unusable. That's probably why they're here. Technically only a two star review, but the store is fine, but the parking lot is horrific. I have broken numerous eggs just taking my cart to the car. I have never seen a parking lot in such poor repair. And sometimes I'll shop elsewhere due to that fact. The manager suggested I contact corporate, which I have done. <laughs> Where's the bait? Guys, there's so many milk chunks everywhere. Like what happened? I'm gonna lie, this might look worse. Yeah, can I can just get one of the tenders? Oh. I guess I'll give this a little better rating, but this one is a little bit better. Now, have you found Vicky yet? No, I haven't. You gotta ask. Oh, doing good, how are you? Yeah, my bag. Oh, uh, no thanks. Do you know if uh, Vicky's in today? Vicky, the checker? Um, or the... Store director? Yeah. She does not work here anymore. Really? She what happened? She quit back in early December. Oh, like just recently? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh -huh. No, it's been way over a year. Oh, dang. A year ago, December, she quit. Gotcha. Should have known. We have the cart here, so you want to put the eggs on top shelf and let's go to the car. Where's our car? Oh, back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys. Good thing we found it. They did flip over. Oh. Wait, were these packed before? No, they no. weren't. Oh, no. It was cold out here. I was running, and there are two multiple potholes and giant bumps in the parking lot, so. Well, that's not your fault. Yeah, we should complain to corporate. All right. All right, our overall honest review of this two point whatever star grocery store. i uh, give it a three out of five stars. That's a good review. There's no employees around. It's well put together, lots of bumps, no eggs, holes in every egg we found, and the chicken was a step above Walmart somehow. Not bad, but not the best. It's time to go to the next grocery store. Right here, has an overall rating of two stars flat. You're probably wondering, this isn't a grocery store. Oh yeah, there it is. There's groceries in here. Kick flip. Great Scott, the shelves are empty. Mary Dewaltness. <laughs> yeah. That was a little inside for if you watch the podcast. Bill said, very low inventory of food. What a waste of time. Empty shelves everywhere in the food aisle. Let's take a look at the food aisle. Okay. What is Bill talking about? They got oh. plenty, if not too much. Whoa, yeah, the yakisoba is stocked 
packed. Oh, look at all the Kool-Aid pops. These are going out of control. Dude, they're definitely not running low on inventory. Yeah, let's check the, the freezers. Oh, oh, the freezers might be a different story, boys. <laughs> oh, no. What is this? <laughs> They've only got Donald Duck juice. <laughs> they only got one thing of cream cheese left. Yeah, and over here, it just also looks pretty sad. Oh, you're right. Things are scattered all over the place. Everything's missing. Oh, man. Well, oh. it's kind of like half and half. The dry food's fine. The freezer food's a no. little, a little lackluster. No. Gotta check for some expiration dates on the bacon. And uh, looks like we don't have one. Yeah. Oh. Not till June. Wow. Are you ready for another one-star review from this place? It just starts with caused too many diarrheas. Which... <laughs> 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 this is a real review, okay? Which caused seizures from their chicken <laughs> pies. The ones that are less than $2. Well, I mean, this is the dollar store. They should, they all, should all be less than $2. Which we have found them right here. We bought a couple yesterday, different brands even, thinking after a few weeks or so of not buying, their inventory or the way these are stocked up would have improved. My husband experienced diarrhea for every hour, 6 a.m. to 1.21 p.m. He... <laughs> He had also experienced diarrhea with one other purchase, 50% off spicy chicken located <laughs> in the cold aisle. <laughs> There's no I way. I don't know if I want to try this. There's no way he got seizures from eating the chicken pot pie. It sounds like a There's no bigger way. story. Oh, but there is an update. Due to having lost a lot of nutrients from the diarrheas, my ER doctor had to give my husband a drug to prevent seizures. His memory doesn't come back normal normal until about two to three weeks a dollar store seriously <laughs> if the story is 100 percent true and they had oh. diarrhea since easters i have had diarrhea since easters unlimited seizures from the chicken pot pie <laughs> i am so sorry but part of me doesn't believe you so you want to try this i will try it i'm not worried about getting seizures <laughs> you would have guessed what food i'm holding behind my back from the dollar store what would you guess hot dogs did you think ribeye? Ribeye steaks? Oh, this feels kind of... Looks... Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's like brown. August 14th, that's my birthday. Oh, perfect. Oh. And it's mechanically tenderized, so it's perfect. Yeah, but it already looks like it has freezer burn. Gosh. Dude, all the food has freezer burn. <laughs> Dude, they're so... <gasps> Dude, that one seriously looks bad. How long has this been in here for it to do that? Satisfaction guaranteed? Well, I'm already not satisfied. Yeah, look at this one. It's like completely purple and green. I'm looking for employees. Can't find them. And there's a lot of sus customers. Yeah, there's a girl. I saw her there walking. She has 666 on her hat. That's sus alert. And there's a little Jimothy Timothy in the toy aisle. Looks to be shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Thanks, gosh. mom. <laughs> Seriously, dollar store. <laughs> We're about to head to checkout. A few of the reviews had something to say about the lines versus cashiers. They were making mention of how long the lines are, and as you can see, the line is already going into the snack aisle. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Guess we better wait just for this. Seriously? <laughs> Dollar yeah. store, seriously? One cashier, it's, it's Brona hoodie. Ooh, uh, about six minutes, not too bad. Okay. They did open up a second lane. That was right, clutch. So is it worth it to wait in line for that, you think? Absolutely not. <laughs> No, I'm gonna be honest. No. Well, you still want it though? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was that all you wanted? Yeah. Yeah. You sure. For or now. Do you have any other recommendations? I don't. I don't. That's fine. It's time for some pot pie. And possibly seizures. What? We have to wait till we get home to cook the pot pie. And after eating it, if we have diarrheas nonstop. No matter what this tastes like, that's not really gonna change my rating. It'll change my rating if I have diarrheas and just like unlimited seizures. <laughs> but if I don't, then that might just prove the rating. Or you might have found your new favorite dish. Maybe. $1.25. So we have to wait until we eat to give this a full... Oops. We have to... Oh. We have to eat the pot pie before we can give it a full review. Back at the house, time to microwave the pot pie. And Justin dropped it on the floor. You hear that? Well, three minutes. Oh, the crust is broken. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, it's blowing out the back end. <laughs> oh, you said it needed more? 
It said four to five minutes. Good night. It's like destroying the whole thing. Oh no. Ew. Oh no. It said four to five minutes. It's <laughs> ripping everywhere. <laughs> no. Stop. You were taking it out early? Did we expect anything different? Let's be honest. No, but you I expect a lovely meal. Yes. Oh, joy. Why does that look so weird? Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! I can see why that gave someone diarrhea, potentially seizures. <laughs> Do you think one bite spawned that or the whole thing? I thought the review said they bought multiple from different brands even. <laughs> and they all caused diarrhea. <laughs> it looks so nasty. Poking the hole in it. Oh. There's like nothing in oh, here. dude. <laughs> that does not look good. Why does that chicken look so weird? Where did all the filling go? The longer we sit here, the longer we... Don't eat. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm getting a nice bite of every piece of ingredient. The chicken. It's already the cooked. The carrots. The pea. It's already cooked chicken. It's mechanically separated as well. Oh. Odorized lard? What? No way. <laughs> yeah. What even does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> That's a big bite. <laughs> I'm the one who didn't try it, and you did try it. So we'll see who has to have right, more seizures. <laughs> we, we need a control group. So if you have it, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, that's one of the worst things I've ever had. <laughs> this isn't food, so it's fine. Now you have solidified your vote. Taste was very bad. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna take a little while to see the full effects of diarrhea and seizures, but <laughs> yeah. I think I can't give this above a two star, this store. No, this is the worst. I wouldn't go back, I wouldn't recommend. Do you uh, think no, one star yeah, or two? Yeah. One, the fridge was bare, no employees, food awful, lines long. There wasn't really many good things about it. Yeah, you're actually, yeah, w one star. Our next grocery store has a lot of one star reviews and boy oh boy are they interesting. But before that, what have we found? We found this sign here that it's instructing you to keep children in the vehicle. Looks like it's either old or they tried to cross it out. But, but never mind, we don't like that rule. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird. I don't know, maybe we should ask them about it. Why do the kids have to stay in the car? <laughs> Still looking through all these reviews and one of these reviews left by Anthony, he left his personal phone number at the end of the review and says if any questions or concerns here's my number I will be reporting this <laughs> <laughs> he left his number his number man there's so many reviews I want to read but Anthony said he bought seafood for Valentine's Day being crab and lobster he noticed a smell a lot of these reviews talk about the smell so keep that in mind me my wife and two kids ate the seafood I was so nervous of what could have happened that we all immediately stopped eating <laughs> I felt funny and woozy with a bit of mental impairment. Good thing I didn't eat more and have a worse reaction or even death. <laughs> Here's my number. Here's my number if you have questions or concerns. We're <laughs> gonna ask him, we're about to go in here, should we be concerned? Leave him a voice mail. Hey Anthony, my name's Justin. Um, I just saw your review on Yelp about the Amazing Asian <laughs> Pacific market and the lobsters. Uh, so I just had a question about it. I'd love your input. If you could give me a call back, that'd be awesome. Thanks. Hopefully I want him to call back. <laughs> Seafood thief? Oh, wait, what? How'd they get that picture? Stop right there, criminal scum. I'm confiscating your stolen seafood. Gosh. Dude, literally. <laughs> the smell no, it's, it's okay. coming out of the door. This door smells like really bad from the moment you walk in, in your face bad. <laughs> I haven't walked in yet. This is hitting me. Who's that? Is that the duck? Head. Duck, it is. It's yes. a whole duck. It's a duck head. Brand. Full oh, duck gosh. brains. It's definitely a very strong smell. Oh, here's all the fish. Oh, it smells horrible. Over here. What is that live? Full head conch shells. <laughs> Dear magic conch shell. So far, the review is hurts my nose. Yeah, I keep getting shivers throughout <laughs> my whole body. Well, one of the reviews left a one star because the guy bought lobster for dinner and it was like not good. So they had to throw it out and get Wendy's instead. I don't think I want to test the lobster. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take his word for it. Oh, there it is. What? Queso on queso. Queso ice cream cheese with cheese bits. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Why? Oh. Why is this a thing here? Be purple oh. yam and beans popsicles? It's just it's hard to get used to the smell, guys. I'm getting it sick. <laughs> it's impressive just how much of their food is like authentic Korean, Japanese, Thailand. I don't know where all it's from, but these clearly. Kind of, these kind of look like Tide Pods. 
Oh yeah, whoa, that's kind of weird. I haven't seen any brands that I'm familiar with. Like even in the chip aisle. That's kind of unique. Huh? Want some corn gummies? It's literally no way. This is corn. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does it just taste like corn? Yeah. It's in the candy aisle, so there are so many reviews. All of them mention seafood, protos, or meat. So we have to get some. Unless you're interested in extra big cheese bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, a little collection for someone to taste test. Yes, it doesn't matter that there's only three spoons. Oh, <laughs> I can't guess that. I guess we'll get these. I don't know what these are. It looks like frozen. Here's shrimp. How is it so cold? Ah! Here's shrimp. Oh, I hate the smell in here. <laughs> you have to like cook these? Well, yeah. It's like, <laughs> sure, like popsicles. frozen treats. <laughs> popsicles. There's a sign on the way out that just says, carts don't go here. Thank you. Smell. Do you think if we stayed in there long enough, our clothes might smell like lobster? Yes, I was worried about that. There's certain smells, you know, they'll linger. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, that, I, that's like one of my worst smells, is just seafood, fish. Ugh. But now, we did uh, buy some food, so we'll cook that. We got this corn gummy, which is so weird. I right? sure hope it tastes like buttered sweet corn. That would be so yummy. <laughs> corn gummies! Oh, they're not that big. Oh, are you expecting that little tiny no. corn on the top? As I'm about to try this corn <laughs> gummy, Drew. my overall experience was very bad. <laughs> In there, it smelled... The, <laughs> oh, God. the smell is the biggest downside of this grocery store. Seriously, do something They do that. have a lot of unique cooking products, like if you need bamboo and stuff like that. They got it, but they also got this. I couldn't eat any of the meat in there ever. <laughs> it's too many reviews to bridge. The, did you see the beef intestines? No. Oh. <laughs> why? I know. <laughs> Out of all the candies, why corn? It tastes like corn. Yeah. It's corn. But why the gummy? <laughs> I do not like I it. I love corn. <laughs> I really like cones. So while I'm just trying that, my overall rating of this grocery store is two out of five. I'm giving it one more point above one because they have a lot of great options. I'm sure uh. most of it's good, but the meat and the smell are the worst for me. And so I'm being generous, giving it a two. What is that? This just went down in rating. It's a 1.5 star for me. What These are it? so bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's bean paste. <laughs> What's bean paste? Well, it's that and it's no good. I am very disappointed. <laughs> Anthony, this is Justin again from Asian Pacific Market. I'm, I got the lobsters. I'm about to cook them. I need to know if this is okay. Please call me back. <laughs> Chef Drew is here. Oh, he touched it with his bare hands. Oh, you're gonna get the oh, 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 no! Drew, no! Drew, no! Pick that up! Keep them around, make sure they get cooked all the way. Dang, those are cooking too fast. If Holy freaking <laughs> Jeff answered the phone, then maybe I'd know how to cook these. <laughs> it's okay. Anthony. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We bought like six different flavors. We have no idea what each of these are. We've invited Alex to be our official taste tester. <laughs> you have to tell us if these are good or not. I feel so lucky. Don't pick the pickles. Do I get to know what these are or am I gonna find that after the fact? Actually, there's no way to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys don't know either. Yeah. I just recommend taking small bites. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is in there? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh gosh. What's it taste like? What flavor is that one? I don't know. <laughs> this has got to be a fish ball. I think I've had these before. <laughs> what did you guys do to it? <laughs> oh. oh gosh. <laughs> what the heck? What's in there? Oh, what the heck? Why did you spit it out? It's fishy. It's, it's definitely like fish. a fish ball. Get over the texture for a second just like... It's not, I mean, it's, not, it's like fishy, you know? We're not responsible for food poisoning or anything that may happen. Oh, oh what's peeking out of there? Got the fish tail coming Something's out. peeking out of the fish tail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, look, I thought it's a meatball. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> no, yeah. Everything you don't want a meatball to taste like. <laughs> Meatballs aren't a hit, guys. Our next grocery store is the only store that actually says grocery store. And let me tell you, we have some problems inside. Maybe, maybe we'll find out. Alicia says she got the breakfast burrito before school for her son. He took a bite, 
raw ground beef in the burrito and she has pictures of it. So we're gonna get a breakfast burrito and we have some other people saying, worst place I've ever been to, don't ever come here, they're really rude. They won't service you like they're supposed to. So we're gonna see if that's true. So far this grocery store also is well stocked. They have a lot of unique options. There uh, is some messes up the floor I've seen. And if you're wondering what that high pitched is, is the guy over there with the bandsaw cutting the frozen pork. Now we wait. I like that a few of the grocery stores we've went to oh. <laughs> have like restaurants connected to them. This is kind of like a restaurant. Well, the last Asian grocery store didn't. It looked like theirs was shut down. It did, but yeah, it was uh -huh. about an operation. They got a lot of options. Come grocery shopping, you get an entire meal here. I love Mexican food. I'm hoping this is good. This is cereal, which it actually does look like cereal. Uh, it's a marshmallow with chocolate flavored food. We're getting some products because we have to test the customer service. There were some reports of rudeness, but if we don't experience that, we're good to go. It's so fun finding products you've never seen before with their names. Boy! $74 for two things? Yeah, you got that, which was $2. This was a dollar, so $74. Yeah, like, no, oh, this says literally $74. <laughs> she's like, oh, sorry. Overall, a pretty decent experience, but gonna try some squinkles. Never heard of these before, but it's salsa getty. It says salsa getty, so I don't know if that's salsa flavored or what. Definitely want to give it a try. Watermelon. I don't know why I was expecting it to taste like salsa. Oh, <laughs> is that the salsa? Wait, what? You pour that on there? I think so. <laughs> Definitely pour the salsa on. I'm supposed to eat this with a fork? Apple <laughs> spaghetti? We don't know what we're doing. Ooh. Salsa? <laughs> oh. What is it? You gotta try some with the salsa. Hey! Oh, this is messy. I don't like this. <laughs> A weird mix of like soy sauce and just <laughs> not good. <laughs> Do one more. Oh. Uh, rating has gone down. <laughs> the burrito is not very good. She tried to scam us the 70 bucks. <laughs> the squinkles. There's something wrong. Yeah, we weren't filming. If we were filming, we're not making it up. $74 for two items. I was filming. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I got the whole thing. Great. <laughs> oh gosh, is this not a twist off? It's just mango juice. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> yes, it's pronounced boy yo 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 Ow! I just you're sliced gonna, all my knuckles. Yeah, you're going to cut yourself open. <laughs> Ow, take that back. I literally, I'm bleeding. I cut all my knuckles all at once. <laughs> Ow! I just want some boing. Get this open. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> I 
it's just breaking the concrete. Just give me the boing. <laughs> Try and like pop it off the edge. <laughs> it's gonna break. Yeah, it's just gonna break. Oh, I'm just man. chipping away at the concrete. This is the hardest drink ever to get into. How am I supposed to drink my boing? <laughs> oh, check this out. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Bronco. Whoa! That's boinging. <laughs> Tastes like a fresh mango. Is that a swig? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. I'm giving that grocery store a three out of five. It's gotta be a two and a half. We almost got swindled out of a $70 Squinkles box and I cut my fingers on the mango juice. Uh, that could be debatable if it's a personal problem. <laughs> Let's go to our last grocery store. There's a big issue here of thievery. All right, one star review. If you want your shopping bag stolen right out of your shopping cart, this store is for you. Management says go to customer service and they can review the video footage and the customer service says they can't do anything and have nobody to review the footage. You may be thinking they're only bags, but the fact that I've had some of these bags over 20 years does matter. <laughs> 20 years? We bought uh, three different valuable looking bags. We're just going to let them sit in our shopping cart, uh -huh. walk away for hoping to be stolen. <laughs> what? All right, we're setting up the booby trap right here in a high traffic area, just oh, bags just sitting like here. Maybe kind of like sticking out a little. Someone walking by is gonna Yeah, say, if I walk Ooh. by. <laughs> <laughs> now that is easy. That was sneaky. Easy right, set that back access. Up. Maybe we can get someone on accident too. We have to make it as convenient as possible for people. <laughs> if you want it stolen, this is the store to go to. Okay. We're, we're testing. I'm, right. I'm going in this aisle. Trap is set up. You're going down this aisle? Yep. It'd be great because we'll see them and we can follow them around the store. We'll say, aha, uh -huh. where did you get that bag? We just bought those. Oh, there's Drew. Oh, hey, Drew. Are you supposed to be watching the cart? <laughs> <laughs> Our plan's foiled now. <laughs> people are going to see me. I'm so embarrassed. Bags. I'm keeping a close eye on them. So far, no movement, hmm. no activity. So far, so good. I don't think, and I'm talking to myself, I definitely look insane. Ooh, what are those? I think I might want that bag. Ah! Uh. <laughs> no one spotted me. Now I have a place to put my groceries. Does anyone want this bag? I'm going to start asking. There you go. We got a brand new we location set. for the shopping cart. We're going to leave it, walk around, check out the grocery store a little more, see what happens. Come back, see if anything's missing or misplaced. Excuse me. Do you guys happen to have yeggs? What? Uh, do you happen to have yeggs? I have no idea. Okay. I think of, I'll just keep looking. I just had to ask because I haven't seen them anywhere. So. Is it a vegetable? Uh, it's the to make uh, scrambled or I, I don't know if you have hard boiled. Like some of the like egg whites, like liquid egg, like in the back. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Cool. You know how to cook these? Nope. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Nothing has been stolen. We tried our best to get robbed, so. Yep. Oh well, that was a good idea. Overall, I'd say that store about a four. Yeah. Yeah. She eventually told me where the eggs were. There's a lot of people at this store. Seemed overall pretty clean. Yeah. And we still have our bags. That's right. Guys, leave us a review down below if this video was a one or five star or in between, whatever you want. I'd give it a five out of five, this video. Yeah, I think I would too. Thanks for watching. Like.